name's Jeremy Valentine. My shop's Joker Cycle Works. I'm from Fort Wayne, Indiana. The bike I built is a uh, 1972 shovel head. It's got a pan head rear cylinder shovel head front, Joe Hunt Magneto. I um, did a soft tail six speed transmission. as mounted in a Paco frame with a time error, I guess, correct, girder front end. I've always ran springers or, or narrow, uh, narrow glides, and I've always loved the look of them. Uh, Paul Cox always ran them and it intrigued me why he loved them so much. And I, I asked him one time, he said, once you ride one, you'll know. <laughs> So I kind of wanted to check it out, and I love it. It rides great. Yeah, I, I, it was inspired from a magazine I seen when I was a kid. It was an old magazine, and it had a Frankenstein bike in it with a pan knuckle shovel. And I decided that you know, if I could ever got the chance someday in life, I'd be able to build one. I'd just do my own version of a Frankenstein bike. Started out with the engine, getting the engine right, making sure it was solid. Stag Ben Hines um, out in California helped me with the engine a lot. Um, he's been a great asset um, engine wise but I just don't like bolt together um, I like it to look different than everybody else's I guess I can say that I mean and then I, I knew I wanted to ride on the highway so I wanted to go with the soft tail style six speed tranny and I, I love the look of the mechanical look of the open primary so I went with that I've been collecting some choppers ink parts for several years um, so I used uh, Billy Lane's Chopper Zinc Spade Tail Light and Chopper Zinc Grips on it to kind of give it that flavor, um, hot rod, you know. Yeah, I got a stash pad. Rick Bray, uh, he bought a, a villain tank from me a little while back and we were on video chat and he asked me, he goes, what's that shelf up there? And I have some West Coast Choppers parts and some of the other Billy's grips and risers and stuff. I said, that's, that's not for sale shelf. <laughs> that's my shelf. I've been riding motorcycles, dirt bikes and stuff since I was five. Um, my dad was an avid biker, had a pan head, probably my biggest inspiration. Um, I started messing with my own bike when I was 19, I bought my first uh, Harley Davidson Wide Glide and um, I couldn't find any parts for it that I really liked. I'd find, I'd always settle for this part or that part, so I slowly started making my own parts. This is probably uh, 96, 97 and then it slowly Friends wanted parts, um, friends needed help with their bikes, and I uh, went out of the garage and started Joker Cycle Works in 2006. Me and my wife rode this on Bill's Benefit Ride, rode it 120 miles at one point. We had it on the interstate with Dan Starkey doing about 90 to 100, keeping up with baggers. They couldn't believe it, but we were right there rocking. So uh, The paint job is done by Brian Barber from Sinners and Saints Customs. There's uh, Everybody has the flack about the green, the green bikes, you don't paint your bikes green. And, some people don't like the symmetrics of the heads because the heads don't match and it has a, it's kind of Frankenstein-y. So I was like, you know, the Joker was always like, why so serious? And I'm like, why, why do you gotta be so serious about the bike, right? It's mine and I love it. And I love the green, so why so serious just stuck. My name is Jeremy Valentine. My shop's Joker Cycle Works out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, and you're watching Shop Talk.